All right, guys. Um, another pointless video, probably, maybe. Uh, my last one was the unboxing of a motherboard on a value system I was working on building, and I already built it that same night, day, whenever it was that I took that video. Oh, this is my cat coming in here. Probably. Anyways, uh, this video is actually, I mean, it's I'm already booted into Windows 7 here, as you can tell. And, uh, oh, and actually, here's the finished system. Yeah, guess, take a wild guess how old that case really is. But hey, it works. It's a little cramped in there. And I had to feel like buying another one. So, whatever. And just a simple USB adapter to grab some internet for right now. But actually, the reason why I started the video now, even though this is not the point of the video, is I want to make sure that this card reader, the internal card reader that I added, which is black, yeah, I couldn't find a white one, so I said, whatever, fine. Uh, I just want to see if it's working. So, let's, uh, oop, did I put that in right? Ooh, is it that way? It's upside down. Oh, I think it actually is upside down. Why is that? Why is it that a bunch of external, internal card reader, whatever, they all seem to accept it upside down? I mean, come on, I want it right side up. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and uh, reboot the system here, and then I'll get to exactly what it is that we were going to talk about. And we're back. As you can tell, I'm in the uh, BIOS now. After reboot, and depending on your motherboard, you know, uh, not your motherboard, your uh, uh, the manufacturer of your BIOS, uh, whether it's Phoenix, you know, American Megatrends, blah blah blah, whatever. Uh, it's either going to be your delete key or one of the F keys, usually F2, F3, it depends. But uh, delete key is uh, being more the common uh, key to uh, use now. But anyways, the point of this is for overclocking. Uh, am I covering the mic? Crap. Uh, so this is just a simple guide to accomplish exactly that. And like I said also about the uh, delete keys and whatnot, uh, F1 keys, whatever, uh, it's going to depend on your BIOS version. Um, if uh, it's going to show up, uh, you know, exactly as how I'm showing you on mine, which I believe is American Megatrends. Yeah. And, uh, I guess for example, I have an Asus board, another computer, and you'll find the overclocking uh, utility in the BIOS under jumper free configuration. But under this one, you go straight. Well, let's go ahead and just show you the uh, info first. Well, I think this is just temps. Yeah, you know, see, I have my uh, shutdown temp for 65. I don't, I'm not comfortable with anything going higher than that unless I'm really, you know, building a banging system, which I'm not, and this is totally not a banging system, but it's a nice one for now. Uh, yep, here we go. Pentium Dual Core E5700 at 3 gigahertz, and it's got the speed step enabled, so it'll clock itself down to about 1.2, 1.8, and yep, so, all right, the point of this, like I said, it's running at 3. I can easily, easily, I just did it earlier, I got, I got this up to about 3.3. I would try faster, but honestly, I'm on stock cooling right now, so I don't want to push it too much or give it more, more, uh, more, <laughs> more voltage if I don't, you know, if I can't accomplish a higher overclock than 3.3. So, depending on your BIOS, oh, ground, is she pooping right here behind me? Yep, she is. So, uh, you go to performance tab under your BIOS. In this case, well, my BIOS. And boom, see, I have the uh, speed step enabled. You're going to want to take this off so it doesn't interfere with the overclocking. And the highest I can put the multiplier is at 15, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. The base, uh, um, uh, the uh, bus speed is at 200, so let's go ahead and plus and minus key. Yeah, minus to bring it down, underclock, so to speak. And. I already went to 210. 210 brought me at about 3.2-ish around there. So let's go to 220. Oop. You know, let's just leave it at 221. I was at 220 originally. But uh, let's see if that works. And if this does not post, meaning it doesn't, whether there's no display in the beginning or if it doesn't go into Windows, then I'm going to have to revert all the values back to the original settings in the BIOS here. I'll just, you know, come back into the BIOS and reset everything. 
or hopefully, in, let's say, worst case scenario, if it doesn't even let me go back into the BIOS, I'm gonna have to go to the clear CMOS jumper on the board, which I hope I don't have to do, but so far I didn't give me any issues earlier on the overclock, so I don't think I'll run into any issues. Go ahead and press F10 on your board. I'll automatically uh, save it and prompt you to okay it first. And, well, it shut off my thing. I think I have the power switch. Um, power switch wire is kind of uh, wrong. So it shuts it off in a reboot instead of just rebooting it and keeping it on. So let's see. All right, yeah, it's turning up windows. So that only tells me that, uh, ooh, I left my fans on quiet mode. Oops, oh well. Uh, be right back. Yeah, see, this is surprising. I left my fans on quiet, like uh, smart fan. I don't have them running under performance in the BIOS, and so this would be around 2,000 something RPMs, uh, the CPU fan right here, but now it's actually still running rather low, and my temps are still just fine. Whatever. Let's hope that's not a glitch and it's not actually giving me the right amount, but all right, let's see. Let's open something here and make it ramp up. Come on. Come on. Something's going to make it open. Come on. There we go. Let's see, 3319. And multiplier stays at 15. Well, see, it's that easy. I mean, it, like I said, it depends on your motherboard. And um, I mean, obviously, you're not going to buy some, you know, Dell at Walmart or HP at Walmart. And most likely, it'll be a proprietary uh, motherboard with a BIOS, probably, maybe just like mine, you know, an Amer American Megatrans, Phoenix Award BIOS, whatever the case may be but they will not have that overclocking utility in the uh, in the BIOS so you won't be able to you know tweak a, an overclocking profile of any kind probably because they don't encourage that of course not paying something cheap and then tweaking it yourself they don't want you to do that so yep that's pretty much it I'd go higher but like I said I'm on stock cooling and I don't really use the Windows Performance Index so much, but I use it once in a while just as a tiny benchmark. You know, the um, rating system that Windows has where it gives you, you know, the uh, highest thing you get is a 7.9. Before I overclocked this, it gave me a 4.9. I was like, excuse me? Something that low for, uh, I mean, it's fine, it's just a dual core. But at 3 gigahertz, a dual core of only a score of 4.9. So whatever, I overclocked it and got all the way up to 6.6 .6 with just a 300 megahertz overclock. So that was a heck of an improvement apparently. But uh, yeah, so that's it. And this video is probably way too fucking long.